Hey guys, what is going on? And welcome back to the Minecraft the Build Review Series. Today on the Build's Creative Server, of course we have builds. Hey guys, how's it going? And uh, what have we got for them today, dude? Sounds today, crazy. we actually have a build by Merwin. You guys may have remembered Merwin. He's been on our <laughs> review series quite a lot, but not for a very long time now. And the thing about Merwin is... He's the second most reviewed builder by Corrales. He loves to build these amazing rural homes. And I know he's inspired so many different builders. A lot of you guys that watch our channels to build in a barn style. Today he's built something really, really unique for us. So I'm going to check it out. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. And the fact that I don't think we've ever reviewed Merwin on this server. It's only ever been a world of Corrales. Um, yeah. Because he used to invite us to his house all the time and mm -hmm. ask us to review them. Um, I think we did some on BCS 2.0, but not yeah. 3.0. But never this one. And this is an absolute unreal home. I mean, like, just the landscaping around here. Is this Slash Warp Climax 2? Yeah, this is Slash Warp Climax. I mean, we've been in Climax quite a bit. Um, <laughs> yeah, we're going to be doing, out. like, a lot of reviews around this place. There are some absolutely phenomenal projects. And the thing that I absolutely love about this warp, not only do we have our best builders building here, but every single house is so much different to the others like yeah, that I you mean, see you'll never see the same i mean i'm fairly sure merwin hasn't finished this garden um yeah but that's kind of what time, i was feeling it doesn't look bad i mean it's just grass i mean mm -hmm. a lot of gardens are just grass and yeah there's a good what is this over here I feel, oh. what is this oh dear <laughs> oh my god <laughs> right. why so uh, why are you like well what am i doing I just think you and Andy are having a fight in this place. Oh, I'm upside down. Uh, is Andy slam dunking me or I something? Think slam dunked you. And this yeah, um, is, who is this? This is Mer. Merwin's judging the boxing ring. Andy's absolutely just mugged you off the couch. I am. I'm being like chucked down head first. I think you've actually like snapped your neck. Andy kind of looks happy about it. <laughs> He's jumping <laughs> in the air and the sunshine is like shining on him. <laughs> Do you know what I realized would be absolutely amazing? Like, imagine looking up in this warp, yeah, mm -hmm. and watching birds fly over. And the mystical floating trees. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this place is just amazing. It really is realistic. I mean, like, my aunt and uncle, like, they have. About that. They have, like, a little country house out in New York State, and it just really, really reminds me of that. It just feels, like, so, you know, so rural and so realistic. Yeah, unreal. So, this is a one to two person home um, built by Merwin in four hours. Um, Jesus. And he says lemons turn me on. So. Okay. Um, they do turn him on. And the thing <laughs> is, Merwin, he does this style where it's just a stone wall. That's it. Yeah, it's amazing. Okay. That's all this consists of, but it works. Some people argue that Merwin um, builds too like um, simple. I'd say it works. This this is careful. pretty amazing in my opinion. I mean, he's just built so simplistic from the front, but it does work. And the beauty of that is, you know, he hasn't used much detail at all, but he's still created an absolutely, you know, beautiful front design. And it's risky. So people don't go around and say, um, you know, oh, if Merwin does it, I can do it. I can put a stone wall down and I can make a nice modern house. No, yeah, Merwin's done it for a long time. Merwin mm. knows what looks good. Um, if you were to just put a stone wall and then maybe a window on it and a smiley face, <laughs> it's not going to get you very far. Just, you know, remember Merwin's kind of done this and he's got this kind of like uh, walkway, um, like a castle. With oh, him this out. is really cool. Yeah. Should we check down here though? That's what good. is down here? This is, oh, okay, this is just a city. Oh, this like, is just like just, another entrance to the garden. Yeah. He, oh, he this is cool. Her. And this little, like, tree section down here, which I can't really see in shaders, but... No, um, neither can I. It's completely <laughs> black. <laughs> this is crazy, though. He also loves to have these overhang supports. I've noticed that so much on a lot of his builds. He has, like, yeah. these kind of cool diagonal supports. They kind of remind me a little bit of, like, falling water. And oh, then yeah, we have true. this, like, beautiful front big window which covers the entire house itself just viewing out over to the back of the property i'm gonna be honest the stone wall actually serves zero purpose at the back but it just it's kind of like a canvas and then he's put the house onto the canvas because the stone wall is just placed there and then the actual house is back here it's not actually yeah i know what you mean it's just all really for like effect i guess he just yeah, wanted I'm... to go with this really unique kind of look and it's, it's definitely worked out for him yeah, and just a uh, disclaimer, this is built in Mer scale, and if you don't oh, know yeah. what that is, Merwin kind of made his own scale, basically. You gotta fly up. <laughs> and you have to fly around at kind of people's height to uh, kind of get a, a feel for it. 
um, which is also original. No one else does that. Yes, yeah, amazing. Um, well, people do after he's done it, but it is now called Mer Scale. So. Yep. It's crazy. It's actually a really well-known scale. I mean, thousands and thousands of people probably use this, I imagine, now. Mm. And pretty much everyone knows of it. It's it's really creative. But it's also, again, very brave. So don't go around building, you know, twice your size. I've seen people build a normal size house mm -hmm. and then do Mer Scale interior. And it really doesn't work. Yeah, like a lot of people see the Inspiration series, especially from Corrales, for example, as like, oh, you know, he builds like this. I got to build like this. Merwin, he's a one of a kind guy. And very, very few people can pull off what he manages to pull off. And this is... Well, just another work of art, but it's just showing you it's something fun, amazing fun. that can be made. I realized in this part of the video, it made me and Smithers sound like we don't want you guys to build in Merskill. Be sure to be experimental, to try out new things, and to try and build Merskill. But what we're trying to say is, don't try and show off building in Merskill. Practice makes perfect, and to get this good and to this standard of building this scale, you need a hell of a lot of practice. We wish you guys the best of luck. And I'm gonna continue club now. It's so unreal, dude. I mean, I love this, this guy. The, the like master bedroom, mm -hmm. and then he's got this like uh, kind of toilet going here, and the shower is just so simple. It's just a walk-in, huge freaking shower. James. So hi guys, we're back. I had an audio problem, but everything is a okay. But I think we were checking out this bathroom, right? Yeah, I was just talking about how simple the whole place is. Well, it's kind of complex but simple at the same time. I mean. The shower is simply yeah. just an emerald and a trapdoor. It is really um, simplistic. I'd agree. It's so realistic. Like this chair as well in this office. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I saw this in... Um, you remember we had the building competition a while ago? And Merwin yeah. built that house on the beach. Yeah, he yeah, brought yeah, in this yeah, yeah. design. I was like, this is actually Sick. so clever. Yeah, it is. This is amazing. freaking amazing. This whole house is actually very clever. I love how he's got this kind of... Um, I guess it's, it's just made of stairs and slabs and then snow. Mm -hmm. It's a huge corner table, and then it faces this like huge TV, and he can get away with using panes because it's a Merskale house. Yeah, it does. It all works beautifully, and I always love his color palette, how how he's kept so strict to it, you know, with like the mats matching the sofas and the walls, yeah. and it's just it just works so well. This fireplace as well is absolutely genius. Yeah, it's very rustic as well. He uses a lot of the trapdoors, which kind of give it this metally um, mm -hmm. kind of rustic feel and like these chairs especially kind of like baby high chairs <laughs> yeah Not like i mean you. i use these when i go to mcdonald's and they're really <laughs> comfy um <laughs> they're so sick but it does look good nonetheless and i don't actually use them so don't take it seriously smith has um, been the high ears yeah I sometimes <laughs> like you know it's a bit unreal um this is actually how i see my house in real life <laughs> You have no idea of the struggle. But uh, I love how the fridge is built into the wall as well. Yeah, and another just beautiful little feature I found, and I've seen this before from Mel, and it's if you look through this window, you can just see like all the like light shining onto the trees. And yeah, yeah, it just, it. you know, it lets like a little bit of color seep through the building. And he's also put like a little painting. Come on, show, you can do it. Yeah, I see it's is gonna, He's put like another little green painting yeah, there yeah, just I to correspond with colors i love it when people do stuff like that holy moly dude and this in here is actually this a mer scale car this is one fat car i would not <laughs> like by, to mess with this uh, by dubsy so it's a mer scale oh, suv fair enough. and it is fat i mean jesus look at it uh, this it's is so honestly the size dude. of a truck oh my gosh i think it looks amazing we can't really show you it because we're so like yeah i know to this space so i mean small. if it was out into the like the you could generally get inside this, I feel like. So this is an try. amazing job, Dubs, though. Like, you've taken on Moscow. I mean, Dubs, he can do any vehicle. So, you know, I wouldn't expect any lease from him. But this is incredible. That looks absolutely amazing. And I feel like you said a one to two person house. I'm trying to figure out if there's another bedroom. But I don't so think We might have missed it. You know, we always Maybe miss Maybe they just, like, one to two person is in. They oh, they both married. sleep. Yeah, on the same bed. That makes sense. Same bed. I mean, I can't see any other unless someone was to sleep on it. Maybe it's a sofa bed. Mm -hmm. Um, but I feel like it, cause yes, you could definitely, definitely sleep, five people could sleep on this fucking bed. Like, <laughs> um, uh, that's pretty much it for the house. Apart from that, we didn't actually talk about the roof and the way he's placed these kind of like uh, chimneys for oh, each yeah, fireplace. This is pretty cool. So he's got like his little fireplace just to keep you warm in the living room, and then I do believe he has. Does he have like a bigger one through here as well? 
Well, there's one. Yeah, he has a massive cool. one by the kitchen. Yeah. And then an extract fan cool. as well, which is this little one down here. Yeah, so smart, so realistic once again. Holy moly, dude. Wow. Well, that's pretty much it for this house, apart from the fact that this view is crazy. Do you want to end it off back here, though? Yeah, sure, let's do it. That looks absolutely unreal. Moe, well, well done, dude. Again. I gotta say, Mur, keep your inspiration up, dude. Mur's constantly moving around a lot, so, um, you know, he finds it hard to get on the server. And we can see that you're making a comeback to Minecraft, and honestly, you know me and Smithers, we love you, dude. So, keep up the amazing work, dude. We hope you guys all enjoyed, you got some inspiration from it, and you've seen something different. We haven't showed Mur scale in, like, quite a long time on the channel, and I know there's going to be a lot of new viewers on mine and on Lewis's channel that probably yeah. haven't seen this before. So, we hope you guys have got some inspiration, you've seen something different. Stay tuned, there's going to be more build reviews coming, and we'll catch you in the next one. See you guys. See you guys.